uh, telling a lie. It didn't happen that way. If you're unfamiliar with the phrase. The reason it was not worse is because law enforcement officials did what they do. They showed amazing courage. And to be frank, oftentimes this show is critical of Fox, but only because they're terrible. <laughs> like sometimes almost shockingly terrible. Good to see you. Thanks for joining us. Uh, the hurricane uh, barrel expected uh, or has hit. I th kind of interesting between Galveston uh, and Corpus Christi. And when I hear Galveston and, and hurricane, can't help but think of the, the 8, 10, 12,000 people that died uh, way back in 1900. But at least at this point with satellites and everything else, we have early warning. What were the preparations uh, this time for, for Barrel? Well, listen, they are always extensive. Uh, Texas has probably the, the top uh, division of emergency management uh, in the country. Like data from Star Trek after he drowned. I want to talk about Greg Abbott and how yet another storm was coming and he just took off. On websites and it's marked Mr. out. Chairman, point of parliamentary out, point, showing point proof, of, parliamentary uh, proof, Chairman, proof Chairman, of man Chairman, act Chairman. violations. Uh, um, bing, bing. I love it. Because you're talking about what? You're talking about bitching about that sale you shot. Some son of a bitch don't want to buy land. Somebody don't want what you're selling. Some broad you're trying to screw, so forth. Let's talk about something important. By running toward gunfire, for the singular purpose of trying to save lives. Tsunami of misinformation and innuendo. Boneheaded, non-fact-based rhetoric. It never happened. Did it... not happen. Let's move on. Let's move on! <laughs> Looking like about 30 seconds left to find the key in a Saw movie. Oh, have I got your attention now? Over the failed law enforcement response to the Uvalde, Texas school mass shooting. Good. As we're adding a little something to this month's sales contest, as you all know, first prize is a Cadillac Eldorado. Anybody want to see second prize? More than two years after a gunman killed 19 children and two teachers at Robb Elementary School, a grand jury issued a 10-count indictment against former Uvalde School Police Chief Pete Arredondo. Good money. Get their names to sell them. You can't close the leads you're giving. Former Uvalde School Police Chief Pete Arredondo facing justice, a grand jury Thursday charging him with failing to act as a gunman killed 19 children and two teachers at Robb Elementary School. Wait, Chief is in there. Chief's in charge right now. Hold on. The felony indictment accuses Arredondo of delaying the response by law enforcement officers as the gunman was hunting and shooting children. And you can't close shit. You are shit. Hit the bricks, pal, and beat it, because you are going out. And he will arrest the criminal illegal immigrants and put them behind bars. <laughs> or send them back. It's looking like a ghost haunting a Dickensian orphanage. What the hell? Is that what Republicans do? They'll have other people run into the Capitol for them, but when the going gets tough, they're nowhere to be found. Our thoughts, wishing for the best possible outcome we can have uh, down there, Governor. But you are uh, in a different part of the world uh, right now, an economic development mission. You are weak. I've been in this business 15 years. What's your name? Fuck you. That's my name. <laughs> Hurricane Barrel ravaged parts of his state. He could have postponed the trip until the storm had passed or at least cut it short once he saw the scale of the disaster. I drove a Hyundai to get here tonight. I drove an $80,000 BMW. That's my name. Losses in Georgia and Arizona really freaked out Republicans because it meant the electoral map was shifting. States that were traditionally red were suddenly in play and the GOP's built-in advantage and the Electoral College was eroding. And your name is your wanting. And you can't play in the man's game. You can't close them. And that was especially evident in Texas, where Trump won with the smallest margin for a Republican in 24 years. Then go home and tell your wife your troubles. Because only one thing counts in this life. Get them to sign on the line which is dotted. And Biden got the largest percentage of any Democratic candidate since Jimmy Carter. You hear me, you fucking faggots? A always B B C closing. Always be closing. 
always be closing. Hell, if a storm's coming, they're gone. Ted Cruz, Greg Abbott, whoever. A-I-D-A, attention, interest, decision, action. Attention, do I have your attention? Uh, yeah, I, well, I, don't, I don't think you'd think about that. In fact, you might think about it, but actually enjoy it a little bit. Well, so let me tell you what happened. Uh, it, Texas only has, uh, before now, uh, one op uh, business office uh, in another country, and that's Mexico. Looking like a teenage lesbian's passport photo. What? <laughs> Interest. Are you interested? I know you are, because it's fuck or walk. You close or you hit the bricks. The dude's calling in from Thailand as the damn hurricane's making landfall. 200,000 people are still out of power. And Greg Abbott just got back yesterday. Fact that surprised me because everything's bigger in Texas. Decision. Have you made your decision for Christ? Texas, we are the last man standing. There are a lot of conservative and red states around the country, but if we fall, America falls. The electoral votes of New York, California, and New York combined together means we could never elect a conservative or Republican to the White House ever again. I can tell you that as a lieutenant governor of this great state that I'm blessed and honored to serve, we're not ever going to let that happen. An action. A-I-D-A. -A. Get out there. You got the prospects coming in. You think they came in to get out of the rain? A guy don't walk on the lot lest he wants to buy. They're sitting out there waiting to give you their money. Uh, this past session, the Texas legislature actually uh, passed a law uh, establishing uh, an office in Taiwan because uh, we support Taiwan both as a country but also economically. Are you going to take it? Are you man enough to take it? Well, I guess it was the day before yesterday. It was a nine-day trip to Asia. These people want to be hanging out wherever they're hanging out on this taxpayer-paid junket. To open up more markets for Texas, because Texas has trouble selling stuff. What's the problem, pal? You, Moss. You're such a hero. You're so rich. How come you're coming down here and waste your time with such a bunch of bums? In Texas, the state legislature is set to vote this week on two restrictive voting bills. The legislation moved forward yesterday after a heated debate. Critics say the measures unfairly harm black voters. The proposed Texas legislation includes banning 24-hour and drive-through voting, new voter ID requirements for mail-in ballots, and expanding the powers of partisan poll watchers. You see this watch? You see this watch? Yeah. That watch costs more than your car. Yeah, it, and uh, everybody knows you don't mess with Texas. I just wonder, uh, I wonder what kind of, of signal that says. It's a very important uh, uh, area for technology. And we can, you know, we're hurrying as quickly as we can. I made $970,000 last year. How much you made? You see, pal, that's who I am. And you're nothing. You support President Trump. Nice guy. I don't give a shit. Good father. Fuck you. Go home and play with your kids. Who do you think uh, his team would rather face? Uh, President Biden, uh, Vice President Harris, or, I don't know, take your pick, somebody else. So I'll give you the answer that you don't want to hear, or you may not like, and, and that is, listen, w w when you look at the issues that Americans are confronting right now, uh, and they're, they're both concerned and angry, uh, concerned about inflation hitting their pocketbook, and I know you all talk about interest rates and, and inflation rate coming down, but listen. You want to work here? Close. You think this is abuse? You think this is abuse, you cocksucker? You can't take this. How can you take the abuse you get on a sit? Illegal immigration. Not legal immigration, but illegal immigration. Uh, it's, it's caused chaos and death in the state of Texas, in New York, and uh, other states uh, across the country. And so those are issues where it doesn't matter which Democrat is going to be on the ballot. They are going to be uh, tied to those issues uh, that will ensure that Donald Trump is going to be elected president this November. Look like a ventriloquist dummy who came halfway to life. Guys, they get it. America, this is 
your moment. Will you stand for President Trump? Rise up! Rise up! Ladies and gentlemen, lovers of liberty and freedom and the American dream! You don't like it? Leave. I can go out there tonight. The materials you got. Make America great. Tonight, in two hours, can you? Can you? Why does she sound like she's doing a rendition of Braveheart at a Long Island middle school? <laughs> they can take our lives, but they'll never take our beautiful marble fountains. State Democrats are in Washington, D.C. this morning after leaving the state in an attempt to block Republican efforts to pass a bill making it harder to vote. More than 50 House Democrats got on a plane and flew to D.C. on Monday afternoon, vowing to stay away from Texas until next month so that Republicans can't vote on anything. Lawmakers need a quorum, a certain number of members present, in order to vote. But on Fox, <laughs> you're gonna love this. <laughs> Despite their 24-hour schedule, they really only had time for the one report. 58 Democrats, oh. Texas Democrats, are taking a stand against Republican voting bills by, what do they do? They hopped on a couple of private jets and they're flying to DC, but of course, first they have to take some selfies to show the folks what they're doing. And doing. they grabbed the beer. They oh, did, a case of Miller Lite, I think. Go and do likewise. A-I-D-A. -A. Get mad, you son of a bitches, get mad. What you're seeing the Democrats do here it is a political stunt. And, you know, I will say it's ironic. As they were getting on their private jet to fly to Washington, D.C., they almost surely had to show identification to get on that jet. <laughs> and, and yet they're doing this in a fit because they don't want mail-in ballots to be verified. They don't want the signatures to be verified. They don't want basic integrity steps to be strengthened in the state of Texas. This is, at the end of the day, politics, and, and they need to get back to doing their job takes brass balls. It's not ironic that they had to show ID to get on a plane, since unlike voting, flying on a plane is not a sacred right protected by the Constitution. You know, when they tried to kill voting rights in Texas, and a few Democrats legally left to just not allow them to do that, to take away souls to the polls, Greg Abbott said they should go to jail. He said they're gonna be arrested when they get back. I can and I will continue to call special session after special session after special session all the way up until election next year. And so if these people wanna be hanging out wherever they're hanging out on this taxpayer paid junket, they're gonna to have to be prepared to do it for well over a year. As soon as they come back in the state of Texas, they will be arrested, they will be cabined inside the Texas Capitol until they get their job done. Go and do likewise, gents. A surefire way to make clear you're the villain in any situation is to threaten to arrest your opponents, especially in the South. You sound like Boss Hogg threatening to round up those Duke boys. Oh, I'm going to get them Duke boys, and when I do, we're going to cabin them inside the Capitol. It's out there. You pick it up, it's yours. You don't, I got no sympathy for you. He left for South Korea, Taiwan, and Japan on Friday. That was as the storm was forecast to hit Texas. He went ahead with his nine-day trip, quote, to drive forward progress in industries critical to the future of the global economy. And you can see photos uh, here. The Luz Cruz back was putting out photos. So you have him visiting uh, with politicians in South Korea. That's a little bit more understandable, perhaps, than Ted Cruz, who once again fled ahead of a storm for a nicer temperature and climate. He's whale watching in Southern California. These people want to be hanging out wherever they're hanging out on this taxpayer paid junket. Of course they were targeting black voters. What other possible excuse could they have for banning voting on Sunday morning? You want to go out on those sits tonight and close, close, it's yours. Not you're going to be shining my shoes. And you know what you'll be saying? Bunch of losers sitting around in the bar. Linda. When I read what I think is the final version of this legislation, it limits the number of hours that a county can have early voting on a Sunday, which some people will think is targeted directly at souls to the polls, black church events. Uh, can you tell me why uh, limiting the number of hours of voting on a Sunday would make elections more secure? And to you, they're gold, and you don't get them. Why? Because to give them to you is just throwing them away. 
And actually, that's one of the things I look forward to, too, with fixing the most. Um, call it a Scribner's error, whatever you want to. But I, I talked to our team uh, yesterday, uh, kind of regrouping of what happened. That was not intended to be reduced. I, I think there was a, a, you know, call it a mistake if you want to. What should have been 11 was actually printed up as one. But if there's a storm coming, we're gone. Well, under the state's voter ID law, a handgun permit is an acceptable form of identification, but a state university issued ID is not. That's really the whole game. The only way it could be more obvious is if they said, you can't use a driver's license, but you can use a MAGA online store frequent shopper card. For someone to gun down little kids, it is intolerable. Fox News alert, we're getting brand new details on the heartbreaking tragedy in Texas. At least 19 children and two adults are dead at Robb Elementary School near San Antonio. The day that those kids were shot up in your valley, when Greg Abbott called them heroes for going in there after they waited 78 minutes listening to the deaths of children, not just through the walls, but on the phone, because the kids were calling in. Governor Greg Abbott made a point to credit officers who responded without hesitation. The reason it was not worse is because law enforcement officials did what they do. They showed amazing courage by running toward gunfire for the singular purpose of trying to save lives. Arredondo was taken into custody at the Uvalde County Jail and released after posting $10,000 bail. A second officer, Adrian Gonzalez, was also indicted and turned himself into authorities on Friday. After more than two years, what is this moment like for you? I've got mixed emotions because I'm happy that Arredondo and Gonzalez are, are facing these charges. But also, that's just a step. There needs to be more. Why isn't the media, which peddled that narrative, apologize? They should be held responsible for their incendiary rhetoric. Fanning the flames, rushing to judgment. Blood on their hands. The damage was done or the inflammatory rhetoric was used. We saw members of Congress. And if one of them has so far apologized for misleading America, we haven't heard it. It is intolerable. I have not received a single, I am very sorry. <laughs> Greg Abbott called them heroes. But before that, he went to a fundraiser. He found out the shooting was currently taking place, and then he went to a fundraiser. Because, you know, politics, baby. All males, obvious, but the one trait that doesn't matter is obviously race. But there was one strand beyond maleness, and that is mental illness. And it may be the number one problem in America, and uh, the, the pandemic makes it worse through isolation. So we have, like, a... a a collection of aimless, disturbed, mentally ill males. Buddy, 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 you gotta relax. I wish you good luck, but you wouldn't know what to do with it if you got it. In Texas, any asshole can get a gun. 18-year-old assholes can get a gun. That's what happened in Uvalde, and they did nothing. While Democrats just want to make it where you gotta be 21 to buy one. My God, you should be at least 21 to be able to possess one. C can we agree on that? And anybody who gives some 16-year-old an AR-15 ought to go to jail if he uses it to kill a bunch of kids. Stop giving your kids we weapons of war, Republicans. And to answer your question, pal, why am I here? COVID kept him home. He dropped out during COVID. Uh, this is another nexus that is really important, I think, in this story in terms of the isolation that was happening at this point. We don't know about his parents. There's some reports that his mother had problems with drugs. Um, and also, and I know we're going to talk about this next block, but we got to talk about the school security issue because uh, there's a lot of questions. They were doing a lot in that regard uh, that didn't seem to be working. No, it's in the town that's happened at Janine. Well, it's Texas. <laughs> that doesn't even, that one doesn't even make sense.
And uh, it, people want a quick solution. The long-term solution here uh, is to address the mental health issue. Shut up. <laughs> you don't really care. You don't really care about this. In that regard, find ways to reduce violence in our country. Yeah, I mean, there are certainly divisions over any number of heated topics, including this one. I want to get to the border. How precisely is diversity our strength? Do you get along better with your neighbors, or your coworkers, if you can't understand each other or share no common values? White supremacy, that's the problem. This is a hoax. Republicans talk about AR-15s all the time. Hell, they love them. I mean, at some point, they're wearing them as jewelry. Some of these Republicans use them in their Christmas cards, which I don't know where the AR-15 in the Bible was, but um, I'm still looking for it. If, if you know what book that's in, put it in the comments. I came here because mental illness. So one of the things we have to do is we have to make sure that we start prosecuting crime. And I'm not gonna be political here. I wanna prosecute crimes, I wanna prosecute gun crimes. We know that he's from a broken home. And that marriage should be between one very manly man and one younger, hotter woman who makes TikToks about homemade Tylenol. <laughs> Shh, go to sleep now and don't Google Project 2025. We know that he's a loner. We know that he was self-injuring himself. We know that he was made fun of because he has a lisp and because apparently he wore eyeliner. He booming. They asked me for a favor. I said, the real favor, follow my advice and fire your fucking ass because a loser is a loser. Lock him up. We're going to have the Democrats arrested when they get back. It's all the same. Meanwhile, they're coming to kill you and rape your granddaughter. Mistakes were made, but one can hardly hold the current incarnation of Holy Mother Church responsible for the oversights of old. Send my best regards to old iron ass. Stand and speak and vote your conscience. Vote for candidates up and down the ticket who you trust to defend our freedom and to be faithful to the Constitution. Put that coffee down. Coffee's for closers only. <laughs> you think I'm fucking with you? I am not fucking with you. God bless Donald J. Trump. <laughs> These people want to be hanging out wherever they're hanging out on this taxpayer paid junket. Vote your conscience or have your conscience surgically removed by a team of scientists to make you incapable of feeling shame and then say, God bless Donald Trump. I'm sitting there going, wait a second, he's making the case for the Republicans. This right. sounds pretty good. Maybe I'm just one of the few people. I'm just not. This doesn't impact. Me mentally. Politics, baby. How bad can it be if it doesn't personally impact John Hannity? <laughs> I mean, it's not like they shut down Smith and Walensky for private events. I mean, that would really be f***ed up. In his first news conference, it's returning from an overseas trip. Governor Abbott gave an update on the recovery from Barrel. And he had harsh words for Centerpoint, the power company which serves much of the Houston area. Allegations have been made that while Texans have been baking in deadly heat, without power. The lesson Fox News is getting at is very clear. Wouldn't it be nice if people who jump to conclusions and peddled a false, divisive, anger-stoking narrative... These people want to be hanging out wherever they're hanging out on this taxpayer-paid junket... ...had to apologize for misleading America. <laughs> now... So it's a gun for you and a gun for me and a gun for him and a gun for thee. But then Republicans get shot with that same gun, and hell, it must be a liberal terrorist. Or closed our nation's strategic flag graphic reserves. <laughs> or if Roger Ailes implemented a no grunting policy in the Fox men's room. Intolerable. I'm sick of it. It's ridiculous. Republicans are pussies, and we always knew it. You know who else we know? Is the Republicans are pretty bad shots. I'm Zachariah, Lone Star Liberal. Now? Yes, mm. Here's where the <laughs> gets real. <laughs> I wonder if there's an analogous event where we could test 
Fox's fealty to this principle of restitution for agreement. Politics? So many, no, not politics. <laughs> Wait, sorry, was I not supposed to answer? Mr. Biden, it's nice to have you here as the youngest member of the Senate, the one, therefore, who may expect the longest career there. I wonder if you'd say <laughs> to us, since it's clear that you're not corrupt and you got elected, why should people think that the system produces corrupt results when there you are? Well, I'm not sure you should assume I'm not corrupt, but I thank you for that, though. But when we start talking about things that look like evidence, they want to act like they blind. They don't know what this is. These are our national secrets looks like in the shitter to me. It is intolerable. Republicans have come out and said what this is really all about. They don't want to lose Texas, and they're willing to change the rules to stop that from happening. It couldn't be more obvious. They admitted it. They just haven't succeeded yet. They couldn't pass these bills the first time. They might not be able to pass them this time. So if they want to ram them through, they're going to have to try at least three times. It is intolerable. Also, side note, what is it with guys who went from hardcore Trump critics to subservient Trump toadies growing beards? <laughs> it's like they said, if I endorsed him, I could never look myself in the mirror again and then realize, oh, but maybe it won't be too bad if I change the way I look. And in light of all that, in light of all that, I'd like to make a brief public service announcement. This is <laughs> up. This is the epitome of right-wing media. Like, Subscribe, all that good shit. It is intolerable. Come on, 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 come on. Don't negotiate, let's investigate, we'll accelerate, I'll take it in.